go for it when you're ready. Hi, I'm Eli Dvorkin, uh, the Operations Coordinator for Art House Co-op, and welcome to the Brooklyn Art Library, home of the Sketchbook Project. Art House Co-op is a worldwide community of artists. Um, we bring them together with our website and then find ways for them to engage with projects that then travel back out into the real world. Our flagship endeavor is the Sketchbook Project. So these are all 10,000 plus sketchbooks that we received in the 2011 Sketchbook Project. Um, we got books back from 94 countries, uh, all 50 states. All of the sketchbooks we received, we catalog here in the Brooklyn Art Library, which is our storefront exhibition space, and also uh, a place for us to gather together art supplies and other materials for the creative community that lives with us in this uh, neighborhood. Something I wanted to highlight and what I love about the space is how it's kind of divided in these two sections where one side you get your inspiration, you see what others have done, and then you get the other side where you can get stuff to help you create your own work. I like to think of us as the slow art movement. There's a lot of like online things and digital and tweeting and everybody's getting quicker and quicker and using their computer, but we like to highlight the old-fashioned kind of um, handmade type things. So if you'll maybe follow me down the stacks, I can pull out some of my favorites. This book was particularly gorgeous. It begins with a story about how a tree grows and then unfolds into the tree. You're not signing up for the project to necessarily use this book per se. I mean, the book is a, is a, is a shape that needs to be adhered to, but that's really the only rule, you know, a thickness and, a, and, and sort of these rough dimensions. Um, so people have been able to break those rules in amazingly interesting ways. People f who maybe went to art school when they were kids, but then life got in the way, and for whatever reason, this was not going to be a career. And what I hear from people more than anything else is that this was a reason to do it. This was what they needed. This was the impetus to engage with the side of them. It's not just a matter of saying, you know, these are the techniques that I'm working on and, uh, you know, I'm interested in, you know, shading or I'm interested in form in this way. Uh, of course, that's a huge part of any why anybody keeps a sketchbook. But the other side of it is that it's this intimate sense of yourself that you're sharing with strangers. Oh, Dad, this is a great one. Um, this book, we actually met the artist Elizabeth Sheets um, in Seattle when we were out there in 2011. This is another example of really bending the rules in a way that is pretty stunning. I don't know if you can see in from the top, it unfolds into a whole sort of fun house. And then if you open it up. It only works because people are willing to take that chance. You know, if all of this work were from, you know, people who work professionally as artists, it would be a show that, you know, you might see in a museum, but it wouldn't necessarily have the heart that the Sketchbook Project does. And, you know, our age range for 2011, the youngest artist, I think, was five, four, maybe. The oldest was 87. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. And, you know, a Sketchbook Project without all of these people wouldn't be what Art House is about. Yeah.